this is what we are looking like. I'm trying to get my, there you go. All right, let's rinse this out. So, we're gonna do it like this. Take it out first. Cause there's a good bit in here. going to put it in the microwave. So while that one cooks, we're gonna just go ahead and start to unravel this one so we can kind of see what we're working with. And then I'll roll it back up and put it in the microwave. green too. This is just one layer. That's what my girls is? Yeah. Is 
this looking good. So I just got done doing some paint work on these. So all of this paint just needs to dry. I like to do all of this before I go into actually writing out whatever it is I'm going to write out. So I can get the vibe. If I can get the vibe mainly achieved with the paint, the writing is just going to amp it up. The studs and all of that is just going to amp it up that much more. That looks so good. Wow. And then let me show you guys how I've really embraced this blue tape. <laughs> I decided to just write my name, Jasper, 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 just all the way out on it. I really love how this looks. To me, it goes with the crafty hand vibes. It's a cute way to really mark myself. And you already know, like when you see this blue tape, you already know who it is. It's Jazz Originals. And then, ooh, ooh. Okay. 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 Fly, right? And Bond's like, can we just go to bed already, please? Please. What time is it anyways? Let me see. 1.58 a.m. Woo woo. Okay, so when I say trial and error, I have two failed projects that I'm about to show y'all real quick. Okay, so project one is in the washing machine. And the moral of the story with this is why you should never use too much bleach, okay? Here we go. Now this had the potential to be so fly, but when you use too much bleach, this will happen to your clothing. It will literally deteriorate. Like it's literally ripped itself apart. I had just finished doing the dyeing process on this last night. And when I took it out the washing machine and I could still smell the bleach on it too from when I uh, bleached it originally. Um, this is what happened. Are we gonna trash this? Absolutely not. Instead, we're gonna use it for parts. So if I wanted to sew down a pocket on someone's jacket or on whatever, I could do that. I have a whole denim piece to work with. But learn from me that don't overdo it with the bleach because you'll end up like this and you'll be pissed that you destroyed your jacket. Me, lesson learned. Lesson learned for you too, to save you some trouble, save you some time because now, this is completely vetoed out and now I have to come up with a plan B for her jacket, which I already discovered it this morning. Thank the Lord. Um, but yeah, second project that I fucked up. Now this next one that I'm about to show you, I call this one experimenting on wrong. I got this sewing machine, you guys know, right? So I was like, oh, I still got the juice or whatever from college from what? Four years ago. And I decided to, and this is also the special that you saw in the beginning of this video where I was tie dyeing it. Oh, it changed all right, no problem. But then I thought to myself, oh my God, it'd be so cute if I cut the inside of the joggers out and imported some, whatchamacallit, what is this? Army fatigue pants. Now from the front, I ain't gonna lie, it almost looked pretty legit, right? Even the back kinda looks legit. But when it came to the butt, I didn't know how to close this. So I'm gonna try this on so y'all can see. I don't even know if this is a good view, let's see. So you can kind of see, like they're low key cute. And I'm gonna keep them for myself because I can, I, this is just a testimony of we're growing, we're developing. Like your girl is sewing in whole panels into pants. Once again, this is not the best construction, but for my first try, but then we turn to the back and what's going on? And yes, I got on white drawers. But what's going on? It's like tight in the butt. It fits weird here because of what I did. But I figured with the sweatsuit, like I could make this a whole look, right? But I wouldn't wear it with the shirt on top. 
So this is what it could have looked like. But when I wear it, you know how they do those dresses or pants now where it's like the arms are sewn into into the piece i would just wear this like that as well i would just tie this around so i can cover for one of my butt area i feel like i can't really show you guys right now because it looks kind of crazy but you get the idea of the vibe with each item, there's a new challenge, there's a new spark of inspiration of I want to try something new. And sometimes that something new does not work all the time. So for that, I did go buy a new jogger set for that. I'll show you guys that in a second. <sighs> Let me just put my clothes back on real quick. All right, so let's go. Here we have our new set here, which looks way more vibrant because that was also a lesson learned. Um, and then I went ahead and bought the sweatshirt today. I had to exchange it because I got the wrong size. It was hanging on the wrong size hanger. But once that's done, we're done with those sweats. We have, oop. We have these sweats next. We just have to add a splash effect. We have our AKA green and pink. And then we also have our birthday bitch, which I need to get some more diamonds. And once I get that, then this one will be complete. And then this week we also just finished up our trippy outer space, out of this world denim jacket. Very, very, very vibrant. Very heavy too. Outer space with the space jam. You know, gotta throw a little 90s nostalgia in there. But yeah, so right now I'm getting ready to take some photos of this really quick. So she can tell me if she wants any tweaks done to it. Or if um she likes it. So we can move on to the next.